50% of African Americans will never travel internationally. Less than that are even going to dare to live abroad. And even less than that are attempting to do so on the continent of Africa. So when you decide that you're going to make this move, you must commit to shifting your mindset. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the eight ways in which I had to do that for myself and am doing so for myself. And if we make it to the end of the video, I'll share my personal affirmation that I say to myself every day to continue to keep me going, you know? So let me introduce myself to those that are new here. Welcome, my name is Ashley and on my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about living, moving, and doing business on the continent of Africa. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so when I do post new content, you're the first one to find out. And if you think my content is of value and you've been a part of this community, thank you. Thank you for every like, every comment. I appreciate it. Y'all know I love y'all so much. Uh, share it with somebody that you think would find value in it as well. One of the major things that I actually was um, instructed to do, a piece of advice and wisdom that was shared to me from a girlfriend that lived abroad in Europe for a few years was to build community, um, specifically with like minds. And for me, that was women, that was mothers, that was healers, consciously aware, um, intellectuals, and people that are open to sharing and supporting you on your journey. And so that has been one of the biggest parts of my success here on the continent is you know having that community finding that community and connecting and staying connected with that community because they also give you an opportunity to have a different perspective or to think differently about what you thought you knew and provide a level of insight to what you didn't so community has been the number one way in which I've been able to shift my mindset and also be enriched there as well. Um, the number two way has been listening to a trusted source, somebody outside of my perspective that has a basis of knowledge that I just don't have. So for me, that has been um, specifically one person in particular who is born and raised in Tanzania. She currently lives in the UK, but she's been able to really give me a perspective on things that I just didn't understand and also help me to accept certain things that I can't change, but also require a level of excellence that is available even though I'm a foreigner. Um, and I'm going to continue to like seek those elders. And some of that perspective really for me has been from people that have done it, um, that are continuing to do it and that are successful, right? Like I don't take advice from people who don't have what I want. And so if they don't have what I want, then they really can't give me advice. But I do really rely on that trusted advice um, from people that do have that level of expertise that I don't have and that I'm looking to gain. Um, number three, immerse yourself in cultural practices and rituals. So one of the things that I did that I had never done before was um, new moon and full moon rituals and working with the power of the moon. And that was something that I maybe had heard of a little bit when I was in the US, but really connected with being back here on the continent. Um, Africans are known to have worked with nature. Like this is the original continent. This is the original origin of where people came from. And so every practice that one has, whether it's spiritually, has derived from something African. That's what I know, okay? I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it, it is what it is, right? And um, not only that, also like 
connecting with African tribes and the rituals and practices that they have for women as they come of age is something that I had never experienced in America and certain cultures, you know, you know, Latin cultures, they have the quinceanera, but you know, the black culture, like we didn't really have that in America. So I really made sure to connect with people that could give me that experience and it was life changing and I had to unlearn so many things, but find a greater respect for what I didn't know and appreciate the place where I was in that knowing. I'm getting deep, y'all. I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep. So let's let's go on to the next reason. Number four, not as hard, journaling, right? So if you're not quite ready to jump into another spiritual, cultural practice, that makes sense. At the very least, you can journal. It's one of the things that I've always done and it's been even more profound as I'm here on the continent and I'm journaling my experience and the changes that I'm going through and the things that I'm learning and the things that I'm unlearning. And it also is providing me a place to reflect on how much I've grown and how much I've accomplished, right? And like even the times where I was homesick or, you know, I didn't understand why somebody was doing something like fast forward to now, I have a different perspective and it's helping in that shift of not only my mind, but my energy, okay? Homesickness is real. And so allowing your mind to shift from the things that may not seem familiar or normal, it's knowing your why, remembering why you made the decision to come to Africa because you're gonna need to affirm that, okay? Remembering your why, focus on your long-term goals. What did you wanna accomplish when you decided to make this move? What did you wanna accomplish and why did you wanna accomplish it? And that will help to mitigate some of the chaos, confusion, and complaining that is just by default gonna happen as you're entering into this new culture and this new way of life. Make personal development a priority. And journaling is one of the ways to do that. Mentorship is one of the ways to do that. But being intentional, how am I growing? How am I growing as a woman? How am I growing as a mother? How am I growing as a professional? Right? Like I spend several parts of my day listening to things that are going to teach me something new, reading things that are going to teach me something new. Um, that's, an, a big that's a big and important part of my day that I I'm intentional about, right? Like it's super important to me. And so it has supported me in the way that I've needed to shift my perspective and my mindset, um, you know, to be successful and to feel comfortable in this new this new life that I'm building for myself. Um, the number seven way that I've been able to shift my mindset and support that shift is by being open and vulnerable, right? Like I'm like that with y'all on this channel. Like I know I'm not gonna get everything right. I'm willing to share my perspective, good, bad, and the not so good um, or not so bad. I'm willing to share that. And there's a level of vulnerability that I now have today that I didn't have, you know, when I was preparing this move. I, I recorded a lot of videos when I was preparing to make this move that I didn't share until a year later. Like y'all was confused. Y'all were like, wait, this is not flowing right. You said you were going, but you're looking like you're there. And yeah, so I just didn't have that vulnerability. And, you know, thus it blocked me off from a lot of opportunities to learn and grow and so being vulnerable sharing with you all my perspective and the things that i'm learning is allowing me the feedback to reflect on that vulnerability and recognize like oh you might need to think about this differently and i'm grateful for that i'm grateful for that growth because i can see the way that it is expanding me in ways that you know i'm asking for i'm asking for so the final and last way that, you know, just I shut it down when it comes to shift your mindset, sis, is accepting that things are going to change whether or not you do the work, 
right? Like things are going to happen. Things are going to be. And whether you do the work or not to flow in that direction, to shift your mindset so that you do invite and ease to your life, it's going to be what it's going to be. And you're better off doing the work now than suffering the consequences later. You know, that's what, that's what I say. Um, you know, the super natural decision in coming to the continent is just that. Very, very divine. Know that. Know that it is divine. Know that the universe, Allah, the creator, the most high, I am that I am, is making it so. And so it is. And so if you've made it to this part of the video, I want to share with you the personal affirmation that I say to myself every day to help and support me in my mindset shift. I am pioneering. I am a leader. I am divinely created and all is working out in my favor. I'll repeat it again. I am pioneering. I am a leader. I am divinely created and all is working out in my favor. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, share it with someone else who would find value in it, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel to get updates on when I will post new content. And if you are interested in making the move to the continent of Africa, expanding your business to the continent of Africa, I would love to work with you. The link below is in the description. The link is in the description to book a call with me. And I'd love to support you on your journey. Until the next video, we'll talk soon.